Hey guys, welcome to Reading Workshop. Um, we are starting a new, obviously a new week this week. Um, we are still in Unit 5, but we are in the last week of this unit. So we are still working with informational text. Remember, an informational text is a text that we read to get information, okay? The author writes informational text to give us facts about things, um, it is not made up, it's real, it's true, there's facts. So these are important texts for us to read and understand because as we become better readers, we're gonna start um, reading to get information and reading to learn things. And that's why informational text is so important, okay? Alrighty, so this week we're gonna be focusing on the words and pictures in an informational text because in an informational text, words and pictures work together to help readers understand a topic. And we are going to go ahead and get some practice with that right now. Um, what I have for you, this is called the, this is the launch page, the weekly launch page. If you go ahead and take a look at it. Um, so we're gonna, I'm gonna read through this with you and then we're gonna fill out this anchor chart of what the pictures showed me, what the words told me, and then what we learned from both the pictures and the words. Okay, so go ahead and take a look at this um, weekly launch page. And it says animals in winter. And if you look at that first section, it's called migrate. And the picture of the map with the butterflies goes with this section. And so what it says, it says some animals move to a warm place. Monarch butterflies fly from Canada to Mexico each winter. That is about 3,000 miles. So right here you can see, let's talk about the picture. What does the picture show us? Well, in that picture, it's a picture of a map, but also we have butterflies and then the arrow, that yellow arrow is showing that they're flying south. So the picture is showing me butterflies flying south. The words told me that monarch butterflies fly all the way from Canada down to Mexico each winter. So with the picture showing me butterflies flying south and the word saying that monarch butterflies fly from Canada to Mexico each winter, I learned that some animals migrate. And I use that word migrate because that's an important word. The word migrate means to move. Okay, some animals migrate or move to warmer places in the winter. That is what I learned. Okay, let's look at the launch page again and let's go to the next section. And this one's called hibernate. And this one, it says certain animals hibernate or sleep through winter. This painted turtle will bury itself in mud and stay there all winter. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about the picture. The picture is of a turtle. The turtle is standing on a rock, but to me, it looked like he was searching for a place to bury himself, okay? Because he's kind of, his neck is out, he's kind of looking around, searching for a place where he can bury himself for the winter. And the words in this section said, the painted turtle will bury itself in mud and stay there all winter. So what I learned, I used the picture and the words to teach me that I learned that some animals hibernate. And I wrote that word hibernate, but that word hibernate means to sleep. Some animals hibernate or sleep through the entire winter. I did not know that about turtles. That's something new that I learned. Um, I did not know that turtles hibernate. So they bury themselves in the mud and then they sleep all winter long. Okay, let's go back to the launch page. The last section says change. Some animals' bodies change to survive through the winter. American bison grow thick fur for warmth. Okay, that picture is showing me that a bison, the bison is walking in the snow, it has long fur. That's what the picture is showing me. The words told me that American bison grow thick fur fur to stay warm for warmth in the winter. So using the picture and those words, I learned 
that some animals' bodies can change to help them survive the winter. So like the American bison, his body changes from um, having short fur to long, thick fur to help him survive in the winter. So this was a really cool, and I loved using this uh, launch page to help us with pictures and words and putting them together to teach us new things about these animals. Here's what I want to know. I want to know which one of these animals, which one of these three animals on the launch page was the most interesting for you to learn about right now. I think for me, probably the butterflies, only because I think it's super interesting and kind of amazing how butterflies can fly 3,000 miles all the way from Canada down to Mexico. But I want to know from you, I want to hear from you, what, which one of these animals did you find to be the most interesting? And then I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye, guys.